Hello again. Um, I think I, it's time to do another video on the Great Bassoon. Now, this is not going to be an update on the progress on building it. Uh, rather, an update on the progress on playing it. Um, what you see here is still very much uh, prototype. Um, of the uh, what amount to seven different joints uh, on the instrument, only three of them on here are actually the final version. The bell the shepherd's crook right here and the lower wing joint uh, right here. Everything else is still being developed. Uh, the, the bass joint actually, and the upper wing are actually done. I just don't have the, the final versions of them ready to go yet. But what I do have today is something very, very interesting, uh, particularly for composers. Um, and that is what does the great bassoon sound like in context? Um, and in this context that you're going to hear, it's a bassoon quartet. Uh, three bassoons and a great bassoon on the bottom. This is a chorale from Symphony 3. Uh, it's from a section called The Night Birds Sing. It's a little over halfway through the piece. Uh, it's a very, very quiet section. So all four are playing pianissimo. Um, now, the great bassoon playing you'll hear is rough because what I had to do is record each note individually, uh, kind of like what Richard Bobo is doing right now with the subcontra bassoon. Um, that said, there are still a lot of leaks on it. Um, the boot joint in particular, uh, it is very, very uh, unfinished, uh, but it was fairly in tune. So I used uh, this particular boot joint. It's more tuned, but maybe a little leakier. Uh, but what you're going to hear is a really pretty rough version. Uh, it's me playing first bassoon and third bassoon. Uh, Mark San Salvador playing second bassoon. And then, of course, me on uh, great bassoon, because, you know, there's only one of these. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely a going to be an interesting sound. Um, you'll hear the, the great bassoon mostly in its bottom octave. The highest note you'll hear is a written, um, it's supposed to do that, don't worry, uh, a written C sounding G2, and then it goes all the way down to the very lowest A uh, sounding E1. So the, you'll hear the very bottom note of the instrument. In fact, it's actually in the second note you hear. So uh, yeah, the this is what the great bassoon is going to sound like in a bassoon quartet, uh, a nice little chorale from Symphony 3. Let me know what you think. I know there's still a lot of tone improvements that need to be done. It's very rough, but this will give you a somewhat of an idea of what the whole instrument is going to sound like within a bassoon section.